Hey everyone, it's Eric here from Laughix. Got another video for you guys today. Today I got this really nice 27 inch iMac that's actually right next to me here. And it looks like that it went into another shop. They did an update or an upgrade. I think there was a problem with the OS. And now the customer can't find their data. They actually had a lot of data on there. I believe this is a one terabyte drive. And there's nothing in the user folders, nothing in um, that they could find at least there. And uh, desktop documents, nothing. No iCloud backup was made. Ugh, seems to be a mess. So if this is a 27 inch one. Um, this is still on the Intel based IMAX. I don't believe they even sell that 27 inch one anymore, which is pretty interesting. We actually have a lot of people come in here. They just like to put an SSD in their 27 inch iMac. It's the one that you have to actually remove the glass and then put the drive in um, that way because they glue it. It's adhered. It's fun. Always a fun time with them. But um, they like to do that. So they want to save the money to buy the nice rumored 32 inch one, right? And Obviously, if there's going to be another 27 inch, some people like that form factor. They always like to have all in one display, all in one computer display. So, um, but back to this one, looks like that there was an update or an upgrade, and now there's no data. So it's a big panic because it's a big drive, and it makes sense. But we don't want to panic because we want to find a solution. So let's get right into this. I'm going to go ahead and plug this in, and let's go ahead and take a look at it. So if I go to my finder here, um, we're going to be taking a look. So what do we see? We don't see anything do desktop, documents, downloads. Um, let's go home. So let's just browse each one. Is there anything anywhere? Nope. Music. Oh, there's a music folder, music library, 2KB. It's nothing, <laughs> nothing really there. Well, hopefully not with music in, a, in a, almost a four megabyte file in the photos library. So it doesn't look like there's any data here. Okay. So if we go to disk utility, um, let's take a look at the drive themselves. So, um, via ever since Catalina, um, for any type of uh, update or upgrade, um, they split or at least partition the drives in, in multiple partitions. They'll have one that's called like Macintosh HD, and they'll also have one called Macintosh HD Data. Um, I made a video a long time ago around that, I think around that time, about showing you guys how to do like updates or upgrades without losing your data. Um, and that's pretty much a very similar case here. So uh, obviously data, says data and it usually does have the data on there correct um, so if we look we actually see that this one actually has the home icon there and if you look at it it shows that there is a big drive here so we have about 1.03 terabytes it's shared by five volumes and this is 874 um, gigs looks like to be used but if we check here right if we went back if we hit go home we don't see anything here oh that's a horrible i don't know who uses that view so we see desktop, right? There's nothing in anything here or the downloads, right? So nothing there. So and for some reason, I'm not sure why that is the case, right? But so you're probably thinking, I'm not sure really why that's the case. Now we also do have one drive. You see this one has snapshot. So um, a snapshot pretty much is whenever you do like upgrade or an update, and maybe something failed. It likes to partition itself um, from the update in case something happens or in case you want to roll back especially if it's a big update maybe from like catalina to ventura which would be very substantial <laughs> on there especially if you had a an older imac that had something like that or an older mac drive um, it's very similar as well too is if you were using windows 10 and you want to roll back to windows 7 they had a partition for that uh, os um, to be on there and if you're ever wondering why i need a certain amount of gigabytes to install an os and that's usually the case for um, installing an operating system, they require a certain amount of space, even though it might be like a 16 gigabyte file or an eight gigabyte file, but you might want, they might want to do a rollback feature in case there's a problem and uh, it's pretty much just like an image. Now, it, usually the image is just for system files, it's not really for data um, in that case. But we, ask, we look here and we see that this is our home one, even though this one does say data on there, so that's the main drive that's there. Um, we also see a system snapshot. So now we don't see anything really obvious. Now what we want to do is there is something that you can do. So normally when you look here, you usually see the locations and you can usually see the partitions of the locations on the side here. And a lot of other times, sometimes you can't. So uh, we, we need to do that. What you can do is if you ever want to see a drive and you can't see the drive here, you can go to disk utility. And then what you can do is usually you can right click um, here. You can say show and finder, right? Um, and if we looked here, um, that we do see that there is a Macintosh HD here, All right? So let's do it again. So if I go here, if I hit show and finder, and um, we do see that there is user folders, there's other stuff here. This one's called owner, and you can see there's nothing actually in the drive itself. Now, um, let's go bring up another one because we have the snapshot, right? Wouldn't that make a little bit more sense? 
or something there. It still says owner, which is the same thing, and it doesn't look like <laughs> there's any data in here as well. And let's go to the main one up here. This looks like uh, something, but nope, we still can't. So we have these two. Um, since we see that this one shows data, right, let's, we'll right click that, which we already have it open, because this should be where the data partition is. Because when you install an operating system, usually when you do that, and I talked about it in a video a while back, is you want to go to Macintosh HD, and then you can install it from there, and you want to leave this data partition alone. Uh, if you're interested in knowing how to do an upgrade or an update without losing your data, go ahead and check that video out. I'll try to link that to maybe at the bottom, uh, either in the link in the description. Oh, yeah, I'll do that in the link in the description as well as maybe towards the end of the video if you want to go ahead and check out how to do an upgrade for it. Um, yeah, so let's click this. We want to hit Show and Finder. And we see something. There's a folder. It's called Previous Content. Uh, previous Content, it will be really similar to something like um, if you ever have a Windows update and you'll see that um, whenever you um, maybe do an upgrade or something, you might see a, f a folder called windows.old. So it's a very similar thing to that because previous content is previous content. And if we look, we could see when, when it was accessed, right? And we see this one was about June 13th, 2023, which looks like that's probably when the, the system was updated. Um, so we're going to actually go click it there. Now we see something else. We do see that this is a little bit different because like it says recovered items, private boot. So, and there also is a user folder here that, um, that was as part of this previous content, right? So I'm going to go, so I'm going to go ahead and click the customer's name and we'll see. It looks like the data is there. So, um, I'm going to be covering that up obviously for, for privacy reasons. So we have all, we have all these folders here. And you can see there's desktop documents, iCloud pictures, and you'll see the little minus next to it. A minus next to it usually means that you just don't have permission and you need to get permission, um, especially if it's tied to um, a password. Now, that's actually kind of funny because when you do it, um, I'm going to plug in my drive. Okay, so if you want to like move one of these over, so we can actually hit copy and we can go ahead and hit paste. And if you hit copy and paste, it's going to still show that minus, but you can see it's calculating and it looks like this is actually all the size of the data here. It looks like there's lots of items, there's lots of different things, and this looks to be the main partition that has everything on there, right? Um, but it's going to ask when it's done, man, there's a lot of, lot of files, but you can see obviously there was like 875 gigs, so it's <laughs> a lot of stuff that's on there. So whenever it calculates, it was over a million files, <laughs> there was so much, you'll see it. But it says you may need to enter the name and password for an administrator on this computer. So it's funny because there is actually a password um, for that user. And um, when it's asking for something like this, it's asking for, for the password of this computer. <laughs> so it's weird. It's not the password of the username I'm trying to access. It's the password of the basically quote unquote admin of the current computer because the hard drive is inside there. And you can see there's like over a million items and it is transferring. Um, so there's a lot of stuff. Now you could do one of two things and we highly recommend you just make a backup of this first before because if there was a problem or anything, you can just basically just um, copy and paste the same thing, transfer this back to the, the drive itself. So if I want to hit like uh, go and hit home and then I could just move uh, the folders. I could do the same thing, just copy them in each folder here. Um, to go to the main user, you can do that. Uh, I would always just be wary of copying stuff on the same drive, especially you know we, if there's any type of corruption or anything, especially for data recovery. We always like to make a backup first and then make sure the data is secure, make sure we can open everything before um, we rewrite to the same drive. So that's typically what we like to do uh, first. Um, we would recommend doing the same, especially if you have an amount of data that's, that's this substantial, especially when you have over a million files. So that's only about like 200 gigs. But uh, I do know the customer actually went a lot more, like just documents and stuff. But um, so that's pretty much it. Um, and so it looks like that there was really just um, the the data was there. It was just put somewhere else. Um, and yeah, so that's really about how you um, can get the data, especially if you do like update or an upgrade on your MacBook, iMac, or especially going from an older one to a, a newer OS. And it's uh, making partitions and, and other things. But that's just pretty much it. I hope that was at least a nice explanation for you because I think that's definitely needed for you guys to understand that too. So I hope that was informative and hope you guys enjoyed watching and got your data. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please leave a like. It really does help us a lot. Subscribe for more content. I'll um, make lots of videos uh, talking about like data recoveries, um, especially for Macs and other things. We do boy level repairs for data recoveries. Uh, we do like Western Digital, Seagate, mechanical hard drives. Um, we do like 
we could do PCB fixes, we could do head replacements, do lots of stuff. We have a clean room, and yeah, so we're lucky we were able to get the data. Uh, it's an interesting place to, to put it on there. It's a little bit confusing, but looks to be all good because it wasn't erased. So hope you guys are watching. See you guys next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.